my second video of the night. Just a warning if you're watching this out of sequence. Um, I did have my wisdom teeth extracted two days ago, all four of them. So uh, if you're wondering why I'm struggling to speak or not speaking very well, a little bit of it has to do with the fact that my mouth kind of hurts. Um, I want to talk a little bit about your peace and the peace that surpasses all understanding um, and a little bit of love and wisdom in this moment where a lot of people are feeling anxiety and fear. And I want to remind you that God is actually using what's happening right now. He is using um, the current situation in our world for a great shaking of his own children. And you say, why and how? Well, I will tell you, it's because he's trying to show you where you've allowed your peace to be stolen. And the reason he needs you to know is because if your peace has been stolen by any of this, it's because you didn't have your trust in Jesus like you should. Um, and let me, let me soften the blow of that a little bit, but also go, like just go right at it. Um, we get all of our stuff from Jesus. <laughs> Everything that we've been given from the lamp on my table to the sippy cup that my daughter left in here to um, the bed that I'm sitting in, my finances, the food in my pantry, it comes from one place. And that's God's amazing, abundant blessings. And yes, my family and I work hard. Yes, we do things. But the, but the truth is, I know everything I've been given that's good is from the Lord. And uh, if you are finding that um, your peace has been stolen, that you are struggling because um, all of a sudden your financial you know, you used to have it like really good financially. You're really hard workers and you had a great savings. And now you're starting to pull from that savings and it's starting to create some unrest. God is showing you that maybe you had a little more trust in your finances and your hard work than you did in God's ability to provide for what you need. Maybe if you're concerned about um, having enough food to feed your families, um, and you're trying to hoard everything in the grocery store. I'm not talking about preparing in a couple extra cans here or whatever. But if you're freaking out about the fact that certain shelves aren't stocked with certain foods. And, and it really concerns you and it bothers you to walk into the grocery store and see things missing. God might be trying to show you that maybe your trust for where your food comes from is not 100% in him. If you're somebody who's generally very healthy um, or generally maybe you've got health issues and the whole protocol and everything about the virus and the masking and the, you know, all of that has really created this, this deep concern, frequent hand washing and, um, you know, some stores won't let you buy anything unless you're wearing a mask. If, if that's stealing your peace then are you resting 100% that your health is in the hand of your father, that your very life is then in the hand of your father, that, that your rent, your mortgage payments are in the hand of your father. And I'm not trying to make light of the situation because this is a tough situation. But the question is, God is asking his children, where's your peace? It, is it in me or do you have it invested in things that you've been able up until now to control somewhat? Um, and I, I come to that, um, that, that scripture where Paul says, I have learned to be content in plenty and I've learned to be content in want. I'm butchering it, but you know, I, I have learned to be content in all things. Uh, because I can do all things in, in Christ who strengthens me. That scripture is about sitting in a jail cell with lashes on his back and no food and being content because he knows he has Jesus. It doesn't mean that his back isn't whipped. 
That doesn't mean that he's not sitting in a dank and dirty, nasty cell. It just means like he's got Jesus. Um, and I, I get this parallel drawn a lot between parenting. Um, when my two or my four-year-old fall down and scrape their knee, the first thing they do is, Mom! When my two and four-year-old get hungry, first thing they do is, Mom! When my two and four-year-old are cold and need a sweater, Mom! Some of that they can do themselves. Um, when they're scared or they're lost, Mom! And I really believe that in this moment of shaking, this great shaking of the nations, God is looking to see which of his kids stop and say, Abba, Jesus, you know, are you expecting for him to come to you just like a mother would come to her children if they yelled, Mom? Um, don't allow your peace to be stolen. Don't let anybody steal your peace. Don't let anything steal your peace. Um, are flowers not arrayed in anything, in, in things finer than so, even King Solomon wore? God clothed the flowers even better than King Solomon, and yet they wither and die. Are two sparrows not sold for one penny? And yet, um, not, not one of them falls to the ground without your father knowing. Are you not of more importance than these? Um, I just want to remind you that you're important to God. You are loved by God. And uh, it's a very important thing that you know where your peace is. Because if things get worse, we have to learn to be content where we are. And if things get better, great. <laughs> You know, but don't allow your peace to be stolen. And in so doing, um, not yell out, Jesus, <laughs> help. Uh, because you're, you're waiting for your own control and your own ability uh, to make those things better for yourself. So that's it for me. I love you all. I'm going to go ice my jaw now. And I hope you're all having a great night.